So hopefully you've watched the first video and you already know the basics. We've got a good foundation and now we're gonna take it to the next level. In this video, we're going to talk about slightly more advanced and sophisticated SaaS metrics like customer acquisition cost, magic number, rule of 40, LTV to CAC and CAC payback. Hi, I'm Jill, I'm a CFO and I qualified as an accountant in 2005 and I've been operating as a C-suite for over 10 years. Customer acquisition costs do what they say on the tin. We measure the cost of acquiring each new additional customer. So it's generally sales and marketing costs like our commission costs, the cost of each sales exec, um, our marketing costs. And at PriceFX, we have a module called Sales Compensation, which can help you manage these costs very effectively and very efficiently. The magic number. The magic number is a little bit trickier than customer acquisition costs. So we take our customer acquisition costs and we compare them to our annual recurring revenue, our ARR. And what this number tells us is that for every dollar we invest in customer acquisition costs, how much ARR did we produce? So for example, we invested 100,000 in customer acquisition costs, but we only achieved 80,000 in new ARR. That means that our magic number is at 0.8. For every dollar we invested, we only reaped 80 cents in reward. The idea is that we should achieve a magic number of at least one, and achieving three would be fantastic. The rule of 40. The rule of 40 is a very, very simple calculation. We take our growth rate in ARR year over year, and we compare it to our EBITDA margin, our earnings before interest, tax, depreciation, and, and amortization. So if we have grown 80% year on year in ARR terms, but we produce a negative EBITDA margin, that's earnings before interest, tax, depreciation, and amortization of minus 60, we would add those two together. 80 minus 60 is 20. Our rule of 40, a calculation, is 20 in that period. The reason we do this metric is we're trying to balance the rapid, fast-paced acceleration of high-growth SaaS organizations with the investment that's involved, the negative EBITDA margin, to give us a more balanced view of the value of the company. Understanding LTV to CAC. We've already talked about CAC, customer acquisition costs. LTV stands for lifetime value. It's the value a customer drives to an organization over the lifetime they stay with that customer. To calculate it, we take the average revenues per client and we multiply that by the average gross margin and that gives us an average gross profit. But this is just one year, average gross profit. So then we have to look at, well, how long will our client stay with us? So we look at the average lifetime, let's say it's four years, we multiply that average gross profit on an annual basis multiplied by the length of time they're going to stay with us, four years, and then we also take into account the retention rate because not every customer stays with us forever, and that gives us our lifetime value. Then we compare the lifetime value to the customer acquisition cost, and what that shows us is that for every dollar we invest in our sales and marketing, our customer acquisition costs, how much value does that give us as an organization over the lifetime they stay with us? And ideally, we would hope to drive that as close to three. Four would be amazing as possible. CAC payback, customer acquisition cost payback. How long does it take for the client's value coming into us to offset the initial investment we made in acquiring that client. It should be less than 18 months, 12 months would be spot on. To calculate it, you inverse the magic number calculation. So what does that mean? You divide s and cost by gross ARR, you times it by your gross margin, and then you multiply by 12. So one thing to point out, these metrics are not governed by IFRS or any other regulatory body. What that means is sometimes they are tweaked between company and company. What I'm discussing here is the price FX way. There is SaaS and there is PRAS. I have covered software as a service. 
I am not covering pricing as a service because my colleague Doug Feeney already covers that in one of our videos. I know this has been a lot of information and I really hope your head isn't about to explode. Um, even as a CFO, sometimes I have to remind myself and drill back into the metrics to make sure that I don't make a mistake and I know exactly what I'm doing. How are you going to deliver your revenue targets? If that's something you're debating and considering at the moment, we have an article on just that topic. Please check it out on our Learning Centre. If you have anything to add, I'd be delighted to have a discussion, so please leave a comment after this video. Like and subscribe if you want more information now. Happy pricing!